prayers of our divine mother our divine mother says we pray that the divine should teach us ever more enlighten us more and more dispel our ignorance illumine our minds with my love and blessing says our divine mother of our divine mother from the collective works of our divine mother volume 14 topic the soul subtopic mind only an instrument page 361 our divine mother says mind its true word depends on its surrender to the divine purified mind it's a mind ready to surrender to the divine mental surrender this happens when the mind has understood that it is only an instrument conversion of the mind the mind has liberated itself from its arrogance and knows it is only an instrument clear mind that's the first step on the road to conversion birth of true mental sincerity with its birth the mind will understand that it is only a means and not an end in itself the mind must learn to express only what is dictated by the divine power of mental expression has no value unless it is in the service of the divine reason an excellent instrument when at the divine service a divine mother says physical mind becomes a good instrument of action when it is content to be that alone when the mind turns towards the divine it becomes a powerful instrument work of the enlightened mind it is very powerful for leading the being to the divine and can be very useful for progress higher mind its superiority consists in its capacity to open to the divine light voice of the higher mind in quest of the truth a divine mother says the mind attains its full utility when it knows how to listen to the higher inspiration aspiration of the mind for the supramental guidance the mind feels that its complexity is powerless and ask for a greater light to illumine it response of the mind to the supramental light represents an important step towards realization victory in the mind is the reign of the supramental truth in the mind supramentalized mind mind has become an instrument for transformation next sub topic mental limitations and weaknesses question does one enter a temple with dirty feet ask our divine mother does 
one enter a temple with dirty feet likewise one does not enter the temple of the spirit with a sullied mind in human beings along with the growth of mental activities grows the subtlety of self deception the more they are intellectual the more they are in their self deception completely candid and insincere at the same time adivine mother says there is the habit of always furnishing in the presence of a mistake a favorable explanation the favorable explanation seems to jump out from the mind spontaneously and automatically trying to obviate any sincere recognition of the error a divine mother says your mind is driven by passion and to support the passion it gives a twist which prevents you from seeing the truth of things let me repeat a divine mother says your mind is driven by passion and to support the passion it gives a twist which prevents you from seeing the truth of things guard against this twist be conscious of the passion action perverted by such a twist looks like insincerity be always on your guard against this persistent defect this is my gift for you for this year a divine mother says may this year bring you the liberation and enlightenment of an ignorant and arrogant mind which thinks it can judge everything without even having the elements of the problem that it judges according to its own preferences and attachment a divine mother says says the whole world may perish provided my whims are gratified such is the attitude of the egoistic mind which seeks to impose its principles upon all in the divine sight principles and desires are one and the same thing principles are the whims of the mind just as desire are whims of the vital mental fantasy while the disorderly it usually lacks coordination imagination abandoned and varied it may be charming but must not be substituted for the truth those who think falsely will live in the falsehood and misery get out of the wrong thinking and you will get out of suffering an old wise man has written thought creates for itself its own suffering ugly thoughts bring ugly feelings ugly feelings take you away from the divine and throw you 
defenseless into the arms of the devil who wants only to swallow you up and that is the source of endless sorrow and suffering. I feel a darkness obstructing the back of my head. My head feels heavy and dark. Why has this happened to me and what is it, sweet mother? Was the question for this divine mother says. Most often these attacks are the result of bad thoughts you have had which fall back on you. We are always surrounded by the things of which we think. Your mind is all full of doubts and has to be blamed as much as the vital because it believes in falsehood. One of the chief functions of the physical mind is to doubt. Let me repeat, our Divine Mother says one of the chief functions of the physical mind is to doubt. If you listen to it, it will always found thousand reasons for doubting. But you must know that the physical mind is working in ignorance and full of falsehoods. It is only love that can understand and get at the secrets of the divine working. The mind, the physical mind, especially is incapable of seeing correctly and yet it is always wants to judge. It is only a true, sincere humility in the mind allowing the psychic to rule the being that can save human beings from ignorance and obscurity. One of the child says, Sweet mother, each time that I try to rise a little, there is a setback. For this, our Divine Mother says, As for your progress, it is because you are trying mentally and the mental is always a limitation to the consciousness. It is only the aspiration from the heart and the psychic that can be effective. And when you stop trying, you let me work in you and I know the proper way. Let me repeat this. As for your progress, says our Divine Mother, it is because you are trying mentally and the mental is always a limitation to the consciousness. It is only the aspiration from the heart and the psychic that can be effective. And our Divine Mother says, And when you stop trying, you let me work in you and I know the proper way. Your mind is too active. It comes in the way of your being automatically guided by my will. A child says, Beloved Mother, it seems I am not receiving sufficient protection in the vital and the physical in spite of calls and firm attempts on my part to open for progress. For this our Divine Mother says, My dear child, it is your mind, it is your mind that prevents you from receiving the help in the vital and the physical. Quiet as much as you can, this galloping mind, and you will see the results. My love and blessings are always with you. Above all, the complication of the so-called human wisdom, there is the luminous simplicity of the divine grace ready to act if we allow it to act. Life could be quite simple and easy if man's mind did not introduce in it so many useless complications. A Divine Mother says once the mind has started its working, it hampers the action of the grace. A child says, Beloved Mother Aditi, at 8.15 a.m. today, the mental words clearly came. You must go back to teacher's college now. This is an idea which I have never consciously entertained. Is he behind this? For this, our Divine Mother says, Be aware of fanciful mental suggestions. 
formative faculty in the mind it is a natural or very spontaneous gift sweet mother says the child sometimes when i use my mental will to become aware of your universal presence and to link myself with you i feel the peace and assurance of your touch sweet mother is it true or is it my mental construction for this a divine mother says in this case it is of no importance because they are mental constructions which can be true and which will lead safely to the experience you want to make me speak and mentalize the experience until a new system is established and you can sit down comfortably in your mental new mental construction mind is so lazy that it wants convenient answers but it is not like that each one is different perhaps there is an explanation which can give peace to your mind in fact there is probably an explanation for each case and the explanation also can be contradictory and she and left away from the strife and suffering on our globe he turned towards his far off blissful home a brilliant arrow pointing straight to heaven the luminous body of the eternal seer assailed the purple glory of the noon and disappeared like a receding star vanishing into the light of the unseen. And divine mother says to make progress you must throw aside all the old constructions demolish all the preconceived ideas preconceived ideas are the innumerable habitual mental constructions in which you live which are fixed and therefore have no plasticity and cannot progress all this must be thrown aside these new ideas are born active thought which is creative energy of a plastic mind does not draw back from any effort to progress mental plasticity is indispensable for the true knowledge a divine mother says in modern civilization men work on the surface the mind is the surface of existence they work on the surface and they try to find the truth that is behind by studying more and more deeply whereas the true method is to enter into direct contact with the inner truth and impelled by that guided by that to make an outer construction which is not a seeking for the truth but a creation of the truth that is to say the truth force realizes itself outwardly through the human instrument men always make plans mental constructions and attempt to create on that basis but not one human creation is a total realization of their mental construction they always add something or else it is always altered by a force they do not understand they think it is a chance fortune circumstances all sorts of things but it is in fact the truth force which is trying to manifest on earth and which is exerting a pressure and naturally this changes the mental and vital creations which are only superficial ones in the bulletin there was a quotation from sri aurobindo on the subject he has said first one must know and then act whereas men act and then try to know through their action a divine mother says the more we know the more we can see that we do not know